Indonesian President Joko Widodo is facing mounting public criticism over his perceived political interference and lack of neutrality as the country gears up to go to the polls in just two weeks' time. Now, allegations of ethical and legal breaches have cast a shadow over the leader since last October. Mr. Widodo has not explicitly endorsed any candidate running for the top job. But he has made appearances with presidential frontrunner and defense minister Prabowo Subianto, who is running with his son. And meanwhile, Mr. Widodo's coordinating minister for political, legal and security affairs has quit ahead of the election. Mahfoud MD earlier tendered his resignation in a meeting with Mr. Widodo. He is the running mate of another presidential hopeful, Ganja Pranol. Former Jakarta Governor Anis Baswedan, meantime, and his running mate complete the three-way presidential race on the 14th of February. Close to 205 million people are eligible to cast their votes. For more, CNA Saiful Bahri Ismail joins us. He's live for us from Jakarta. Saiful, with vice presidential candidate Mahfoud MD now stepping down as minister ahead of the polls, are we expecting even more resignations from Mr. Widodo's cabinet? Well, Don, that's a question weighing on the minds of uh, many people right now. But first, we have to understand why Mr. Mahfoud decided to resign from his post with less than two weeks before polling day. Mr. Mahfoud said he's leaving the post to prevent abuse of state power and that he has been considering resigning before the first presidential debate in December last year. Now, even before Mr. Mahfoud announced his intention to resign, there were already rumours and speculation swirling around uh, that a number of ministers would be walking out of Mr. Widodo's cabinet because of his alleged political manoeuvring to ensure a victory for presidential candidate Prabowo Subianto and his running mate, who is also Mr. Widodo's son, Gibran Raka Buming Raka. Some of the ministers in question include Finance Minister Sri Mulyani Indrawati. Political observers said it's unlikely that there will be an exodus of ministers leaving Mr. Widodo's cabinet. They said that the impact of individuals like Sri Mulyani, who is a technocrat and not a member of any political party, leaving Mr. Widodo's cabinet will be huge. If a highly regarded minister like Ms. Sri Mulyani steps down, it could confirm that there is distrust within the government. It could create negative sentiments from investors who have been involved in various development activities in Indonesia. Ms. Sri Mulyani has dismissed claims that she will be leaving, saying that she continues to perform her duties in cabinet. Observers said that ministers in Mr. Widodo's cabinet will most likely continue their work until the end of their term because they owe it to Mr. Widodo who had appointed them into cabinet with great trust and sincerity. Observers said these ministers have an obligation and responsibility to the nation to continue to provide stability and to finish their job until October this year, even if they may not agree with what Mr. Widodo is doing. All that said, Saiful, President Widodo has attended the anniversary event of Indonesia's largest Islamic organization, Nanlatul Ulama. Now, we know that NU had boasted of its neutrality in the polls, but could Mr. Widodo's attendance be seen, perhaps, as an indication of his support? Yes, uh, for sure, it's a signal of support. First, it's uh, useful to understand, to also understand the significance of uh, Nahdlatul Ulama or NU in this presidential election. NU is the biggest Islamic organization in Indonesia with an estimated 45 million members. So it's in the interest of all three presidential candidates to try and win the hearts of NU voters because they form a huge portion of the electorate. Now, Nadatul Ulama's uh, current leadership has forged close ties with Mr. Widodo over the course of his two terms in office. NU has reaffirmed its support for Mr. Widodo ahead of the 2024 election, saying that NU would, quote, never be too far away, unquote, from Mr. Widodo. So NU support for Mr. Widodo can also be translated as covert support for presidential candidate Prabowo Subianto. However, NU Central Board has repeatedly maintained its neutrality in the election. NU's business is about improving and helping to develop Indonesia, not winning the presidential candidate in the election.
However, the organization's central board may not have much influence in swaying followers at the grassroots because members and clerics or kiais still retain political autonomy, which sometimes leads to different preferences. Saifo, thank you for that. Saifo Bahri Ismail, they're reporting for us live from Jakarta.